Hello friends, uh, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. Uh, this is Ravi. In this video, I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenarios. Yes. So you may get any kind of these kind of questions. So how to write number of files based on data or records? Or how to restrict the number of records per file in PySpark? Or how to create a data file based on number of rows? So your question may be anything. It's a simple thing. If you want to create a data file, just go with the number of record spaces, number of record bases. So how to achieve this in PySpark? How to achieve this in PySpark? So what I'll do, I'll take one data file, which is uh, Amazon uh, reviews data in Databricks, which you can go and download this using Python library. So that is the URL library, so request dot URL retrieve using this, which you can get that file. And the default, this file is a compression file. So I'll uh, uncompress this file using gunzip in Linux. Once file is available, this is a bigger file, around 1.6 GB file, which is having around uh, 3.5 million data. Now, if you want to create a data frame, then read this data file. Okay, read this data file. File already exists. Let's verify this file is available or not. File colon. So whenever you are looking for Linux location file, right? Always use a file colon. Yeah, file already available. It's a compression file. And uh, just, uh, Verify and compression file as well. Both files are available. Okay. Even you can remove this file and uncompress it again. Okay. So I'm going to take this data file and I'll create a data frame reading this TSV file. I'll create data frame using spark.read.csv and uh, File name with a location, I'll use a header. Then I'll create a file. When you are going with the right option, you can go with the CSV format, any file format. Consider I'll go with the CSV. Then uh, mode, you can go with the uh, overwrite. Then you can use an option here. Number of record bases. I want to create a file, like every file should contain maximum 1 million records. Okay, if I have a more than 1 million, then I it should go with another file. So there is an option called, there is an option while creating a, of a data file based on number of rows. So use this option, max records per file. So the second argument which you can provide the value, okay. So I want to create data file and uh, each file should contain maximum 1 million records maximum 1 million records then you can go with the save a file name particular location my csv data now whenever you go use this option right always use if you have a multiple uh, partitions always use colis and reduce to one partition before write you can do the colis and go with the one partition. This is very important whenever you are going with uh, record spaces number of files. Okay, so if you have a multiple partitions, then again uh, there is a problem here. So for that we will go and with a single partition. So colleagues anyway reducing is faster. Then we will go and create multiple files based on this option. Based on this option. If you are looking for header, go and specify header. So CSV file looking for header. So the file is available in Linux location and it's a TSV file and the delimiter is very important. It's a tab delimiter. So separator. Yeah. Now it is going to read this data file. And a single colleagues one means one partition, but while creating a data files, it will create based on this option. So if you have more than 1 million records, if you have 10 million records, 
every file 1 million so 10 10 million means 10 files it will create if you have a 3 million 3 files 4 million 4 files it will create that is called max records per file we can use this option and specify how many records per file you are looking for and after that once it is available you can go and create this data frame and verify this number of rows in each file you can create another data frame spark dot read dot csv and specify that location and you can specify the header true and you can add a new column using a with column that is file name then you can use a function input underscore of file underscore name function and you can import that function using from pyspark dot sql dot functions library as a fun functions is one of the class input star means all functions are input of file name then this data frame will be having uh, all the files with the file name you can do what you can do you can go with a group by file name column then use a count okay now in this location go and verify in this location it will be definitely it will be available in multiple files multiple csv files but the csv files number of rows number of rows in this location four files it is created let's verify number of rows each file each file how many rows are available let's go with a take the record count of file wise record count I added a new column called the file name using the input file name then we'll take a record count then it will give you a number of rows at each file number of rows at each file so this way which we can go and implement while creating data files databases nothing but a record basis or number of rows basis data files output files okay consider every file you are looking for just uh, 100 k records uh, one lakh records two lakh records one million records two million records so that row basis if you want to create a data file then now you see this one million records one data file another one million another one million the last one remaining data okay so remaining data it is created so this way which we can go and create target output files based on number of rows based on number of records so this notebook i'll upload in my github so you can go to my github and it will be available i'll place this github url in my video description and you can go through this code again if you are looking for okay thank you if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you